So as you can see on the screen is we have given a, a graph which is undirected and what we have to do is we have to find if it is bipartite or not. So in, in, as an input we have given the adjacency list of each individual uh, node in the graph. So now let's see how we can solve it. So there is a property of graph that is even L cycle graph or bipartite graph. So we will use graph coloring and BFS to find if it is a bipartite graph or not. So as you can see here, so we have the graph, given graph, this is the given graph and these are the adjacency list. So this is the neighbor of zero, that is one, two and three, here you can see. And this is the one, this is for two and three and so on and so forth, okay. So now what we can do is we will start pushing our first node that is zero into the uh, queue. So, and then we will uh, uh, fetch all the neighbors and we will color it. So before uh, pushing it to Q, what we will do, we will just color it as red. Okay. Now, after like fetching it from uh, the Q and we will fetch the neighbors, that is the neighbor of 0 are 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and we will color them as opposite of what we have in the 0, that is green. Okay. Now, the, uh, we will also like push them in, so individual uh, in the Q. So that is 1, 2, and 3. Now it's done for 0. So we'll uh, remove that and we will do for the same for node one. That is we will fetch all the neighbors of one that is zero and two. So zero is already colored and is about it, then it is okay. So two is colored and it is of same color, then it's not a bipartite graph. So he, we will return false from here. I will tell you in the code how we are going to do that. So this is not a bipartite graph and we will return false. Now let's see for this. So here we have given this graph and this is the adjacency list. Now let, let's push this uh, zero into the queue and then we will uh, traverse on the neighbors that is one and three. So the neighbor of zero is as you can see on the list is zero and three. So what we can do is we will first color zero as red and then we will fetch all the neighbors that is one and three and we will color them opposite of zero that is green. Now the, uh, it, now it's for zero it's over. Now we will push the, all the neighbors in, in the queue that is one and three. Now we will do for it one for one node and then the neighbors of the uh, one, uh, one are zero and two and zero is already colored and opposite it's okay. Now two is not colored. So what we will do is we will color it opposite of one that is uh, red and we will push all, uh, all the neighbors into uh, the, so zero is already, we will not push it. We will push two. Now for it's, uh, for one it's over and what we will do is for uh, three, we will do the same. So zero and two, they already are uh, colored and they are opposite. So we will not do anything. So for three is done. So for two, now we will power two and then the neighbors are already colored and opposite and we will not do. So all the nodes are processed and we do, didn't find any ambiguity that is uh, neighbors are not differently uh, same colored. So it is bipartite graphs. We will return true. So that's how we uh, like the thought process and the intuition is. Now let's see how the code is. Now let's see the code. So as you can see on the screen, so there one thing that I missed that is the graph can be uh, disconnected. So there are multiple component disconnected component in a graph. So for that we have to check for each and every component. So here I'm like creating a color uh, that, uh, that will mark if it is visited or not. So uh, any node is visited or not. Okay. And also it will help us in checking what's the color is. So uh, we will see like if it is colored, if it is not colored, that is minus one represent it is not colored. Okay. And uh, it, it is not visited. Then we will visit and we'll run our bipartite algorithm on that bipartite uh, finding algorithm on that. And we, it will cover all the nodes in a single component. And then we will do it for all the nodes that so that we will make sure that every node is visit, uh, visited or not. Okay, so now let's come to the bipartite uh, algorithm that is BFS plus graph coloring. So what we can do is we can create a queue and then we'll push it source node. For example, here in this graph, we, we will push zero. That is the first node or we can start from anywhere. And then we will mark it as some color that is one represent here red. As, as example, I have given the intuition part and then uh, zero represent uh, the green color. That is one minus the color that will give uh, one or zero. So. So we will uh, push it into queue and then we will do it uh, for every node in the queue while queue become empty. Okay. We will pop out uh, that and we will uh, traverse all the nodes and we will check if the neighbors, as I told you in the intuition, that if, if the neighbor's color is same, that is we, it is not a bipartite graph, then we will return false from the here only. And if, if this returns false, then we will return from uh, false here only. Okay. Otherwise it will run. So, so here, we will check uh, uh, if it is visited or not visited. That is the color is minus one. If it is not visited, then we will color it the opposite of the uh, the, the node current node. That is the, then uh, coloring the neighbor as the opposite of the current node. Okay, and then we will push it into the and we will do the, the same for all the nodes as I showed you in the intuition that we will do while the queue is empty. So that's how we will run it. And if if we find false, we will return false. Otherwise, if there is no ambiguity, that is all the from uh, like connected components are there and there is no like such ambiguity of coloring 
then we will return true that is it is a bipartite graph so that's the algorithm if you have any doubts you can comment on the uh, comment section if you have better do let me know in the comment section otherwise like the video and share it